What's up everybody, Bill here, Guitar Struggles, with a shitty video. With a shitty video about writing songs. Because I'm going to venture into also, I'm already in the shitty video business, but I, I think I'm going to venture into the shitty audio business as well. And uh, I've been inspired to start writing songs. Actually, uh, I've had a project in the works for a long time that I've just been thinking about. And that's writing a concept album, probably a double album or a triple album, about wiping your ass, something that everybody can uh, can relate to, and all kinds of different songs about the different aspects uh, of wiping your ass. And I've been tossing it around a lot, but like last week, I just downloaded Reaper, finally, um, and it's inspiring me to write fucking songs. and. I was fucking with Cakewalk sonar, and it was like impossible. I, I could make nothing with it. And Reaper, to me, and I'm gonna do a, a comparison video on these once I once I get some tracks down of how much better I like Reaper. I'm not saying that that Cakewalk sucks, even though I kind of to me Cakewalk sucks. So anyway, that's that's really not part of this story. This story is is the roadblocks I come into with writing songs. Because I have all these fucking great ideas for, for writing songs and all different kinds, like at least 10 different song ideas in the theme of wiping your ass for this record. Okay. So here's the thing. Like sometimes you can hear an idea for a song in your head. Like I don't know if this happens. I think this happens to a lot of people. Like. When you're by yourself or you're kind of tired and it's quiet and you can kind of imagine a song in your head, like a song you already know, just think of a song you know, and it can kind of play in your head and you can hear the singing and it's not your voice, it's like the, the real dude who's singing it or female who's singing it and it's like in their voice and you, you hear all the instruments and shit like that. So once in a while, but it's usually when I'm at work, when I'm thinking about a song that I want to write or a song idea, I fucking hear it in my head. And like I said, it's usually at work when I'm not around a guitar. It's usually like when my boss is telling me what I'm supposed to do for that night. And I, I've come up with a great song about wiping your ass or not wanting to wipe your ass. Or uh, there's so many different assets. This song is going to, it's going to be like from the time I'm going to do it in first person, but the, but the hero of this story or anti-hero is like how you grow up and the first song will be about you know, your mom's been wiping your ass, but then she's tired of wiping your ass. So, like, the name of that song, It's Time to Wipe Your Own Ass, would be the theme of that song. And then, as years go by, you know, as you come of age, like most young men do, you just get tired of wiping your ass. You're like, I've been wiping my ass for all these fucking years, and I'm just fucking tired of it, and I'm giving up on it. I want, I want all that time back that I'm wasting wiping my ass. And, uh, so, so I'm just not going to wipe my ass anymore just like most people do, but then something happens to you, and this would be another song, that you meet a girl, and she wants you to wipe your ass, and so then that song could be like, you know, if you want to get with me, you better wipe your ass, you know, and then you break up with the, with the girl, and you go back to not wiping your ass would be another song, and... Uh, see, this is how fast I come up with these ideas, and then you decide to be gay, okay? Maybe you didn't like girls anymore, and that's why you uh, broke up with girls. And gay is popular nowadays, so I think this song would be a hit as well. And then, like, your gay partner's like, um, yeah, we call it fudge packing, but we don't want to pack that much fudge. You better wipe your ass. See, and if I was better with... See, I'll have to trim that down into a catchy to a catchy chorus. That could be, like, the chorus of that fucking song. So, so here's the thing got out of the way with that, but but the two problems I have the most with writing songs is narrowing down the lyrics like that, and then the other problem I have with, the, with writing a song is the music part, now, and other than that, I, I've totally got this, uh, and possibly maybe that I, that I suck at using the recording shit, and I'm not a great rhythm guitar player, not so great of a, of a lead guitar player, but the main two things that are really standing in my way right now is uh, the music and the lyrics. Okay, and I've watched like videos on how people write songs and shit, and like, and and some dudes have good advice, and I, and I was doing this at work too. So when an idea pops into my head, okay, 
Oh, I just sing it into the phone. Like, uh, and, but then what happened was I wound up with like a week's worth of ideas in the phone because I don't sing that well. Of like, it's just, just nonsense. No, 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 no. And I'm like, was this the guitar part or, or the or the singing part? When I listen back to it, I'm like, this doesn't make. So this isn't what I heard in my head. This doesn't even sound like the guitar or or the singing. But did I have a pan flute in this or or a tuba? What the what the fuck is this? So that's the problem I've been having. <clears throat> and then the other problem that I have, th this is my second biggest obstacle that I've come up with. So then I'm like, fuck it. You know what? These ideas aren't working, at, but a better idea will come back to Because that always happens when I lose an idea. Because to me, when I hear an idea for a song and I can't get it down through the phone like that to where I can remember it. It's like, it's like waking from a dream. Like, that idea is in my head, but I'm not familiar with the song, so it goes away. Kind of like waking from a dream. And I don't know how to do notation to a song. See, I think that's the difference Beethoven had over me, because he would hear these fucking awesome symphonies in his head, and then what would he do? He would just write them down, because he knew how to do that. I don't. I don't. So that's, that's another downfall I have. That's another pitfall in my uh, songwriting. Okay? So, but here's what I do. I'm like, I'll overcome this. Fuck it, because I got an album to make. And the other thing, and this is in general with a lot of things, I'm very impatient. Like, I, I would like to do this whole double album, possibly with a feature film to it, in like one or two sittings. Because I don't like waiting. I'm not crazy about waiting for shit either. Um, so that's the other problem I, I come across with. But anyway, th uh, this is how I decided to battle that, okay? Fuck it. I know a, a, a lot of chords on the guitar, and I, and I kind of know, you know, I know some scales, and I, I think I know what in key is, even though I figured out maybe I don't know what the keys are, because I don't understand how some songs have four major chords in them. That can't be any key. That, that means that you put notations next to the note. But that's for another video, because that pisses me off, too. I think that uh, this music notation is a fucking scam. For me, it is anyway. Come on, motherfucker. I got in the wrong lane, and uh, that guy's a motherfucker because I got in the wrong lane. But what was I saying? Uh, oh, I know that this video, just like most of my videos, makes absolutely no fucking sense. Okay, I know that. But it's because I'm confused about how to how to write a song. So this is what I've been doing. I'm like, I'll just write a song on the spot. I kind of know the theme that I want, and I'll just kind of hum the lyrics. I'll just start with a chord progression, okay? That's what I'll do. I'll start with a chord progression. But this is what happens. I wind up writing songs that other people already wrote. Like, here's a great example. Anytime I try and start with, like, C. So I'll be strumming on C. I'm like, awesome. This sounds good. What, what should go next? And then G just fits perfect after, after C, okay? So then I groove on that. I'm like, this needs to go to another chord. And D just fits in there fucking perfectly. And then where should it go after that? Of course, to A. And so I start strumming that like two times on each one, and I just wrote Hey Joe. I just wrote Hey Joe from Jimi Hendrix that he didn't even write, that he he took from someone else, but he didn't think he wrote it. And, and I've done this, I wrote, uh, what other songs did I write? I took another approach trying to come up with like the way the lyrics would go with just the guitar, and I totally wrote the verse from Dream Police from Cheap Trick. And I think because when you don't already have that song in your mind, you have other shit in your mind that already, uh, and, and, and the melody just naturally wants to go to what you have in your mind. That's a problem I'm having anyway. But this morning, I got home from work, and I actually overcame it because I was walking my dog, and I had this melody in my head. And actually with words in it. And it was like, I'll never wipe my ass again. See, and I don't sing that well, but what I had, and, and that's the catchy part. That's like the catchy chorus. And it doesn't sound that way when I'm singing it. But what I did was I had that in my head and I kept it in my head over and over. 
until I got back to my guitar, okay? And I worked that out on the guitar, just that part, and then it was like simple, the chords that should go behind it, and the way that the chords should go. So I put that down on my phone, okay? And now I think that's gonna be on, on its way to a hit song, so that's like one down and 20 to go. But that's only a piece of a song, and what are the odds gonna be that the next time a piece of a song pops into my head, and I'm guessing the next piece of song that pops into my head won't fit with that song at all in any fucking way. But, you know, I'll deal with that when I get to it. But if I don't have a guitar around me, I'm fucked, okay? Until I come up with a better way of doing shit. I know this video makes no sense, but I was just I thought I'd put it out there. Just so you guys know of, of, of the next big project you have to look forward to. A... Uh, a feature album with probably feature videos to go with it, which will probably be a long fucking time at the rate I'm going, okay? A really long time. So I guess my point with the songwriting shit is this. Like with anything, it's not as easy as you think it's going to be. Or, or that's the way it is with me. Maybe with other people, it's like you want to do something. You're like, wow, this was fucking easy. I should have done this a long time ago. Although I do feel that way with Reaper. I should have downloaded that a long fucking time ago. So I need more patience, and uh, if I could have a guitar with me at work, because like I said, that's usually when these ideas come up, and I, and I think that I found a formula that's going to work for me, and, and hopefully in the future what I'll be doing is putting out little clips of the songs as they come along, just to put them out as little teasers for you people to enjoy, or to not enjoy, for you to thumbs down them if you want. So that's what I got. That, that's my pitfalls with songwriting. So let me know down there, do you guys have the same fucking problems when it comes to writing a song? Or do you have a, a completely better method to writing a fucking song? Because I know that there's other dudes that have videos out there that, that seem to do it differently, that seem to be able to come up with a song like on the fucking spot and actually record it and get it done like within one day. Not me, not so much. So I know this was a really shitty video, but I have another shitty video coming up soon that I thought of, the concept of today, but I feel like drinking and playing guitar for that one, and it's going to be like, it's going to be a list, because I know on YouTube, lists are very fucking important, so it's going to be like a, a top five, or a top ten, or maybe just a, an odd number, a top seven things of this idea that I have, and, and that's going to be coming out probably before the weekend, so that gives everyone something to be excited about, too, so that's what I got, everybody and uh, till next time, your struggles are most definitely my struggles, and I'm out of here.